Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about some DAX functions. Those are calculate and all function. Let me go to the Power BI window. Let me load some tables before going to write a DAX queries. Here I will be using the AdventureWorks data warehouse as data warehouse having a, a considerable amount of data. So that is the reason why I will be using the AdventureWorks for all my examples. Now let me type here my server name dot slash SQL 2012. Let me click on OK. Yeah. Once I click on OK, it is going to show you the list of available databases in that particular server. I have around 12 databases in the server. Out of that 12, one of the databases is AdventureWorks Data Warehouse 2012. From this AdventureWorks Data Warehouse, I will be selecting couple of tables for my example. So what are all the tables are? DIM Customer Table, DIM Geography Table, couple of uh, DIM Tables, Dimension Tables and couple of uh, Fact Tables I am planning to select. So dim geography table. Next one is uh, the one fact table. So I am okay with these three tables uh, to run the uh, DAX queries. So once you are okay with the table selection, let's click on load. It may take a while based on the size of the data in the tables. So tables are getting loaded into our uh, Power BI in memory. Yes, it is ready now. So you can see in the uh, section here in the field section, those three tables, uh, dimension customer, uh, geography dimension and the fact table. So first of all, let me select one table and let me select um, so one or two columns and later I'll, uh, I'll go to the DAX functions. So here I'm going to select the English country name. English country name. Next, one more uh, column from the fact as it is a sales amount. Yeah. So and let me increase the font size of it so that uh, understanding will be easy for us. Let me go to the column headers. Fourteen. I am keeping as fourteen. Next, let me go to the. values and let me increase it so that readability will be easier for us in the video 13 or 14 whatever it is so and this is a, a values here if you see the table here now if you see the table here the first one is english country name australia canada france germany united kingdom and respect to amounts if you see that the sales amount is respect to it is uh, changing like uh, for Australia it is around like a uh, nine starting with the nine and it is starting with one and two two three nine means the filtration is already done in the table itself while loading the while displaying the data into the table the filtration is already done and it is going to show you the data based on their sales only so how it is happening if you go to the relations if you go to the relations, if the table contains a relation, then it automatically filtration happens. You not you from your side nothing to do. If there is no relationship between the tables, assume it there is no relationship between these two tables. So that time, so that time you might need to assume it there is no relationship between these two tables. So that time the sales amount is a common for each and every country. But here you have a relationship between these two tables with the help of the DIM customer. So that is the reason why you are able to see the sales amount respective to the country only. So that is the reason why relations are very important. So if there is no relationship is defined by default in the database. So let's come to this window and you can define the relationship even. So there are there is a way you can define the relationships in the Power BI window as well. So let's me let's move on to the um, DAX queries. Now, 
if you go back to the report if you see this i am getting the english country region name and like a sales amount now i want to calculate the total amount i want to display for each and every country against to that so here i am i am going to get some 29 millions so that i want to display against to each and every country by keeping a header as a total sales amount how to calculate that so for that let's create a measure so let's create a measure so let me create a measure so here in the top right side you have a new measure option let's click on it so once you click on it so here this is a window you will get it and by default you will get a, a word as a measure equal to so you can rename it to your uh, um, exact name so i am going to make it as a total sales amount it means that total sales amount in the entire uh, over the countries now how to write the calculate now so let's start calculate so power bi is intelligent it automatically uh, give you the suggestions if you type three letters so calculate off you can see some syntax here so calculate evaluates an expression in a context modified by filters and here once you use a calculate function this expression is mandatory and the filters are optional we'll talk about what is filters first we'll go for mandatory then we'll go for filters now let me type calculate sum of sales amount i'm going to keep it as a sales amount is on the fact table let me select that column sales amount so let's close the parenthesis i am not going to use filters in this at this particular time later i'll use it let's type enter let's press enter so once you press enter so there is a measure has been created in the dimension uh, table actually because i selected the dimension table so that is the reason why the measure has been created in the dimension table ideally for the best practices so we'll keep a separate um, section for the dimensions in the real time but nothing to worry for our example i created a, a measure in the dimension table if you see this there is a different icon you can see here it means that it is a measure now so let me add these measure to this particular table let me select this so once i select this i will be getting the total sales amount and if you observe the difference between original sales amount and the total uh, sales amount created through measure so there is no difference because the filter it automatically applied again this even though i use a calculate function the amount is been calculated based on the country filter only means if you do not use any filters it automatically takes the relations and it automatically calculates the sales amount now let me use the filters here i am planning to use one filter how to use that let us see so let's comma and here you can use the filters here i am planning to use so these are the list of filters you can see so abs all and all all except and all so let me type all all of means now i am planning to consider all the values all the values of the countries so that time i can calculate i can get the i can get the all the countries value let me select from the geography table demography country region name now let me close this close this yeah type enter so once you type enter it takes a while and it calculates the total value now if you see this if you see this let me increase the font size of the values right now if you see this the total uh, sales amount is matching with the total value which is calculated here if you see so 29 29 29 here now this to, uh, total sales amount is calculated based on the total table not based on the country filter so this is how we use the calculate and all filters all functions in the dax so let me show you again if you see the expression here total sales amount equal to calculate of sum of the fact internet sales uh, sales amount and all of dim geography english country region name so here in this example i have used calculate function as well as all function okay so now let me use this total sales amount 
in my one of my calculation in, in one of the other measure let me create a one more measure so i wanted to calculate a sales percentage okay so in that sales percentage i am planning to use a earlier measure so now let me write that sales percentage equal to let me open a bracket sum of uh, fact sales amount like this divided by total sales amount into 100 and close one bracket here yeah right here i don't need now yeah let me that's right that's already covered here yeah now let's type enter so one more uh, measure has been created if you understand very clearly so i have created one more measure based on the previous measure so now let me select the this measure into this uh, table so that i can see what is the contribution of a country or the sales now if you see this the australia is 30 percentage contribution and the Canada is 6.74 contribution, France is 9 percentage contribution, and remaining like United States is 31 percentage. Total contribution is going to 100 percent. So this is how we use calculate and all functions in the DAX queries. In the next video, I'll try to cover some more DAX functions. Please keep watching. If you like our videos, please subscribe and provide your valuable feedback. Thank you for watching. That's it.